Hey guys, my name's Sarah, and Forrest and I run the school together I'm here at Rocky Mountain School of Photography. And I wanted to pop on the channel today just to do a quick review of a tripod um, that Oban actually sent to me to do a review on about six months ago. I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of time to really use it and actually incorporate it into my workflow so that I can give you a really um, solid perspective on what it's been like for me. caveat I normally hate tripods in fact I still hate tripods um, I that's why I'm doing this review because it's kind of from a different perspective I'm not a landscape photographer I don't prefer to carry my tripod with me everywhere I go today I'm just gonna talk more about like how I feel about the functionality and the quality and what has worked and hasn't worked for me um, and just so you know I'm actually more of a um, self-portrait photographer. That's most of what I use a tripod for. I mostly just use it when I'm taking pictures of myself. So I need something that's reliable and I need something that's sturdy, but it's not like end all be all of my situation. But I wanna talk you guys through kind of what has worked and what hasn't worked. Um, so what I first wanna say is um, in general, tripods, Tripods kind of range from super crappy all the way up to really, really expensive and amazing. Um, in general, with tripods, we kind of grade them on a scale of three things. Um, are they high quality or low quality? Are they low weight or high weight? How heavy are they? And then how much do they cost? Because we don't want to spend an arm and a leg for a tripod. <laughs> legs. <laughs> uh, but this open tripod, um, I feel like is kind of interesting because it not only is fairly affordable, but it kind of splits the difference between quality and weight. Um, so it's not the worst quality and it's not the best quality and it's not the worst weight and it's not the lightest weight. So um, I like that because most tripods, you're only going to get two of those three things. This one kind of splits two of them. This is the Oban AT3586 five section aluminum folding tripod. Um, and it actually comes with the Oban head BZ226 um, and they come together in a package on B&H. You can actually check the link in the description for a um, uh, link straight to it. And it's only $140 right now, which is awesome. Surprisingly affordable for what you get. Um, I've actually been pretty happy overall with this tripod. And I kind of want to just talk through what I've experienced using it. So I'm gonna split this up into the good and the bad, and then I'm gonna talk about the head at the end. Um, so first we're gonna discuss the legs. Um, so first off here, um, this tripod has very nicely opening legs. Um, any of you who've had like a little bit more of a crappy tripod, you'll know that like they kind of like creak or squeak when they open um, and or they just like flop open. This one actually has a like healthy amount of tension that keeps it from, you know, feeling like it's not secure. And I really like that. Um, other good things, I, it's fairly light. It's not super heavy. I actually, I've used a variety of tripods in my life, but it's not nearly as heavy as the big aluminum Manfrotto that I have at home but it's also not so light that it feels like it's gonna crumble in the next windstorm or completely fall apart. And I've had tripods like that as well. My first tripod was really horrible. I got it for $35 on Amazon and it was uh, literally like did all of those things I just said that are bad, like creaking and squeaking and the legs were all connected at the bottom and it had like one of those cranks and like those giant knobby handles. It was horrible. If you have a tripod like that, I'm sorry. I hope that you get the chance to upgrade as soon as possible. This might be a good choice for you because it's so quite affordable in the realm of photography. Really, when we're looking at tripods, we're looking at usually $150 or more for something that's really going to last a significant amount of time. I've had other tripods that cost 100 bucks and they literally fall apart on me. And I've had a tripod, my bigger one, that literally cost a total of like $500 and I don't think it'll ever fall apart on me. Um, but this one falls literally right in the middle there. And that's exactly where I want it to be, right? Because then I don't have to spend so much, but I still get something pretty good. Next thing, um, it's got the easy open and clo close legs, which is nice. So these like twist off things. Um, only thing, only minor complaint with that is not really a complaint. My hands aren't quite big enough to do all four at once. And that's always convenient when you can do a tripod, all four legs at once. Um, but 
These twist legs are pretty easy and pretty convenient if you've never used a twist lock tripod. Um, it's a little bit easier than the clippies. I personally still like the clippies a lot, um, but these are so much easier to put back together. You just unscrew all of them, collapse the whole thing, and it goes together so nicely. I've actually had an open tripod in the past where the leg fell out, and so I was like, Ugh, this is not really great. So I was a little nervous about using this open um, after that, but this one, I know for a fact, actually, after talking with some open people that they've got some new engineering and they've fixed a lot of those problems and it's totally evident in this particular tripod. Also, it's super sturdy. So like I said, it opens really nicely. And once you put it here, it's not going anywhere. It has these nice spike feet on the bottom. So uh, if you wanna spike your tripod into the ground, these are super awesome. Um, but basically, these little screwy wheels can either be rubber or they get spiky feet. And I love that. Um, I actually haven't had a tripod with that capability before, so um, super convenient when I'm shooting outside in the dirt. Also, um, it has the nice squishy handle that we've come to know and love uh, on many tripods, this guy here. Um, and if you've ever shot in the winter with a tripod, you'll be so grateful for one of these. Um, basically, you can grab it without your hand freezing off. And of course, the most important thing, it goes entirely flat. Look at that. It actually comes with two posts, um, a short post and a long post. And this um, short post allows it to go just as low as this um, head height, which is like six inches. Um, but that's pretty darn good. I don't really use the long post, um, but that actually gets me to the first bad thing um, about the tripod. The short post is great. I like to keep it in because uh, using the long post is actually not as sturdy overall when you're using a tripod um, because it makes more of the weight higher up and less distributed on all three legs. Um, so I don't actually keep the long post in this tripod. I only use the short post, but the disadvantage of that, I'm 5'8", and um, it doesn't come up to my height like at all. Like I have to do like this awkward squat to get down to the level of the tripod with my short post. So that's the only disadvantage. Um, if you're shorter than me, you probably will never notice and you'll love it. Um, or you just stick in that long post if it doesn't bother you. Other things, uh, it doesn't really have that super high quality feeling of like the Manfrotto that I've had. Not super high quality, but like I said, it's not horrible. In fact, it's way better than any Oban I've used in the past. Um, and like I said, I've been using it for six months and it hasn't had any issues, which is awesome. But that's really it. Like, honestly, I love pretty much everything about this tripod, which surprised me because, like I said, the open I had in the past wasn't great. We've seen a lot of open tripods break on our students, um, but this one's been pretty great. So that takes me to the head. I want to talk about the head. This is the um, BZ226T head that comes with it. And still, I can't believe that you get the head with it for $140, but um, it's pretty great. It's just a normal ball head. It's got um, the main knob, it's got the pan knob, and it's got the tension knob. Um, and the only complaint I have about the head is that the main knob has this like rubber grippy thing on it. And it actually makes it feel like when you're turning the um, knob to tighten it, the rubber will kind of loosely keep tightening even if the knob is actually tight and it drives me crazy because I feel like I'm just tightening it forever um, when in reality I'm just twisting that rubber around. It's already been tight for a while. But surprisingly this head is really great um, and I love that it's Arca Swiss um, so it's actually a universal standardized dovetail plate um, which is great because I have other Arca Swiss tripods that I can interchange with so I can just slip my camera off of this put it on the other one I love that it's not a proprietary um, plate design because I probably wouldn't like it if it was something that I had to switch my tripod plate on. And that enables you to keep the same plate on your camera all the time. If you ever forget a plate, you can borrow one from somebody because it's so universal. And I really like that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's pretty much it on this tripod. I really have been impressed by it. I love kind of how in the middle it is on most things. Um, it has been great for everything that I've used it for, um, and I really do recommend it. I think it's a great um, kind of next step if you don't have a decent tripod, or if you have a crappy tripod that's like falling apart on you, or if you just aren't happy with the tripod you have, it might be a good one to try. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. 
If you like this video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed to us, we put out a bunch of great content all the time. Um, so thanks for watching and have fun with your tripods.